Hi guys, welcome to Sculpture Week 4 with Mrs. Williams. So here we go. Um, just like usual, we have our rainbow wall. Don't worry guys, I will remember to update this eventually. I'm so excited to throw some light boxes up or have a few of your sketches up here. Sculpture deserves some representation. Um, this week we will sketch five new prompts. So again, we're getting into those daily habits. We sketch every day. Every Friday we do an artist spotlight. We sketch every day. Every Friday we do an artist spotlight. This week, what's different are our continuation of our art, master art skills is going to be the dragon mask. And we're going to introduce that project. Okay, uh, here's a reminder for those new. We have sketches here. And here's a reminder for those who are new. Here's another spotlight and the instructions on how to complete those. Um, this is our new project. And here's a finished product that you can see right. Oh, got it. There we go. Right over there. Ha ha. Um, and it is called a Wintercroft mask. Wintercroft is a Etsy designer. Etsy is um, small little shops, but instead of having it in a town like they would normally be, they put them online. So he's a craftsman that designs these paper masks and sells templates. Now, this year, I really wanted to do a dragon mask because... It, our winter musical is going to be Shrek and so to celebrate Shrek and to be hand in hand with what they're doing I decided what lovable character than the dragon um now if you do not have a sculpture kit do not worry I've given you the template over in Google Classroom you can download it I want you to print it out in cardstock though not printer paper printer paper will sort of ruin this project and so I really want you to print it out on a tougher paper like cardstock if you don't have cardstock at home swing by the school and I'll just print you one out it's okay I get it I get it all right it should take about 30 pages so you'll need quite a fat stack of cardstock that's okay it'll be totally worth it all right the good news behind this project is once you have the groove down, it can be very, very satisfying and have a really good look to it. This is a project that just looks incredible. The bad news is it does take a lot of time and you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. And it's a little annoying, but don't, please don't let that bring you down. Just pop on some Spotify, put on some Netflix, some Hulu, some Disney Plus, and I guarantee you'll do great. And bonus points if you can actually watch Shrek during this project. I think that would be awesome. Get in the mood. All right. Monday, we are going to be cutting and folding part one. And I want you to download and print your template. Or you can start cutting your pieces if you already have it printed out. Tuesday is just going to be for cutting pieces. And Wednesday and Thursday is going to be folding. Now, I have a separate video on how to cut out your pieces and I have a separate video on how to fold your pieces and I've included a video of somebody else making this same exact mask but sped up so you can see their process and how they did it. All right, for cutting your pieces, I want you to only cut on the very, very, very outside or the solid lines. Do not cut across the dotted lines. Those are folding lines. It's a little weird. So there are cutting lines and there are folding lines. Dotted is for folding. The solid is for cutting. All right. And we want to get as close to the edge as possible without hurting these tiny little numbers on your pieces because we really need those. Now, these pieces are going to multiply. So you're going to have like a Mount Everest of pieces. It's going to be like in a huge pile. So please have like a bucket or a little Ziploc bag or a trash bag that you can put them in to keep them all together because we need every single piece. It would be a pain to be missing a piece later on in this process. Okay, um, and when you fold pieces, so again, dotted lines 
are your folding lines. Now, you need a crisp edge. A crisp edge is one that you flatten on both sides. So you'll fold it in one direction and then fold it in the other direction and you'll flatten it out using a straight edge. So that can be a ruler or if you're creative, you can use a bench scraper, an old gift card, a school ID card, just something to scrape across that edge so it's really harsh. This is in my video as well in Google Classroom. So I'm not gonna repeat myself. Here we go. Um, we have, at the end of the week, I'm going to need a picture of your progress. I want to see where you are. And number two, I want a Freaky Friday of your choosing. P.S. <clears throat> Some students are finding chili pepper artists who are not identified as chili pepper artists on the list. Please let Mrs. Williams know if you are uncomfortable with any artists. This is a living document, as in I have to change it a lot this year, and hopefully next year it'll be a lot more finalized so unfortunately are you guys my beautiful guinea pigs absolutely but please tell me honestly if there is an artist you feel might be uncomfortable for other students i want to make sure i look into that all right okay guys other than that have fun with your rock and dragon masks this week have a great day